Hi everyone and welcome to our workflow tutorial series for LiveLux and Live Assist. This is a three part tutorial and in part one we're going to look at live grading and how to create reports. Now as you can see I have a rather simple setup here. Two cameras, A cam and B cam. Both are SDI captures and both are tied to a LUT box that I'm remote controlling. The ACAM is a Panasonic EVA 1, sending us V-Gamut and V-Log via SDI. And the second camera is a Sony F55, capturing S-Gamut 3 Cine and S-Log 3. Our monitors are set to Rec 709, which means that LiveLux will transform the incoming camera signal V-Gamut for the ACAM and S-Gamut for the B-Cam to Rec 709. Since our working space is set to native, all of our grades will be based on the individual color space of each camera. Alright, so let's enter into the player and take a look at our grade controller here. As you can see, we are at shooting day number 3, scene 31, take 1, and the LED on the save grades button indicates that there are no changes to any of our channels down here, A cam and B cam yet. So let's dial in a little grade. Let's make this red for the A cam. Switch to the B cam. You can use your F keys on your keyboard for that. Dial in a grade as well. And hit the save grade button. And also let's record a little reference for the A cam. Hit record here and let it run as long as you need it to run. Alright, let's move on to the next scene, scene 32. Now let's adjust the grade a little and this time let's save the grade with a note. For instance, let's type in very dark grade. Alright, and save. Next scene, 33. What you might want to do eventually is enter into dual view. You can do that with the button down here or just press D on your keyboard. The drop down over here lets us switch through the other cameras. So now I'm selecting the A cam to grade and on the right side I'm selecting the B cam to match to. Let's try this. Alright, this looks good enough for now. Let's quickly have a look at the gallery. The gallery has two tabs. First is the reference tab. I can load any kind of reference in here that I want to compare my current camera signal to. So for instance this clip. If I jump into split view I can wipe back and forth. However any reference that I record in live looks or live assist will not show up in here. We'll get to that in a bit. The other tab is the Looks tab. Here as well, this is just a user selection of looks that I can apply to my current camera. Also note that both these tabs, References and Looks, are cross-project. If I want to have fast access to any of the grades I've been storing in the Looks tab, I can open up the Memory panel here and just drag and drop Looks from the Looks tab over to the Memories tab into a slot. If I shift click any of the slots, I can store the current grade of the currently active camera in here. A single click on any of these looks will load the grade. And also, all of these 8 slots here are mapped to your grading panel, so you can easily store and recall grades. Now, back to our live grading. Now you might run into that scenario where the DP asks you, Hey, is it possible to quickly see what we had done on scene 30 or something? You can do that very easily. Just go to the look history and look up scene 30. Take one in this case. And now the look history lists all the grades and all the recorded reference clips for that scene and take. You can select the reference clip here, hit show and live looks pops up the dual view and in here you can just play back the clip, like such. Back to our look history. 
Now the DP says, hey, this looks good. Can we please try this look on the current scene? Sure. Now you can select any of the grades here in this list and hit apply. And that will apply the selected grade to the currently active camera channel. However, what you usually want to do is apply all the looks to the respective cameras. So the A cam look goes to the A cam and the B cam look goes to the B cam, like such. Let's adjust the grade a little and hit save grades again for this scene. And now the DP says, you know what, this looks really good. Can we please also update the looks for scene 30 with that? No problem. So, in the grade controller, let's type in scene 30. And you will see that the little LED here just turned pink, which indicates, hey, there's already a grade present for this scene and take. Now, if we go to the setup panel, you can see we are storing our grades based on scene and take. So if I hit the big save grades button now, I will be overwriting what's already stored for this scene and take. If I select scene take version, LifeLooks would keep the old grade and store the new grade as a version next to it. However, we want to keep things tidy, so let's just store our grades based on scene and take and overwrite the old grade for both cameras. All right, now before concluding this tutorial, let's take a quick look of what LifeLooks actually did under the hood every time we hit the Save Grades button or recorded the reference clip. If we Alt tap into the finder here, we can see here is our scratch disk folder and here is the project folder, LifeLooks workflow. In there, we have our three shooting days and inside each day a folder for the respective scene. And inside that folder, a list of files for each take recorded for that scene. So we have our grade as a 3D LUT, because we have selected the LUT toolset. We also have a scratch CCR file to transfer looks into scratch for dailies. We have a high resolution clean image and a high resolution graded image and the same as proxies. And down here, we have a human readable text file, which reads our whole color space configuration for each channel. Panasonic V gamut, SCAN3, etc listing all the corresponding files for that and the same as an XML file which post houses can use to actually script the looks into their color pipeline because this XML lists each and every grade all the files associated with the grade including metadata like scene take time code frame rate and all the metadata live looks was able to capture through the live SDI signal very handy now Back in live looks, let's generate a day report. Like such, hit save, and here's our PDF. As you can see, it starts with a little overview. And down here we have each and every grade with a before and after and also all the camera metadata that has been captured along with the grade. Alternatively, we could obviously also create a full report, which would include all the shooting days and all the grades created during the shoot up until now. Or we can create a grade index. What is a grade index? Let's try. The first thing is our browser opens. Very well, let's quickly alt tap into our finder window. And as you can see, LifeLooks now created this little index HTML page here, which we're looking at in our browser. And in here, everything is listed per shooting day, day one, scene 13, for instance, with the before and after screenshots, with all the metadata, and you can even just click and download, for instance, the scratch color file, or the 3D LUT associated with this scene and take. Obviously, you can now put that whole folder structure onto a web server, and give your clients access to it. All right, this is it for part one of our workflow series. Part two will show you how to automatically transfer all the looks created in LifeLooks or Life Assist into Scratch, match them onto your clips and export your dailies. See you there.